Hello, beautiful people. Angela with Orange Bubble. Thank you for visiting. I'm here to help you manifest your best life. I offer a free Facebook group for like-minded individuals. I offer a free 15-day Manifest Your Best Life course through my website. And if you want help manifesting quicker, I do have personal coaching available. Today, we're gonna to talk about rainbows and signs of manifesting. I will put a picture in here the other day. There was the most beautiful rainbow when I was out shopping for the holidays. It was absolutely stunning. So I will put some pictures in this video. So when you are seeing rainbows, especially unexpectedly, there's been no rain, there's been nothing to show that there should be a rainbow and there's this magnificent rainbow right in front of you. That is signs from the universe that you are on the right path. It's a divine guidance from above saying yes, keep going, keep following your intuition, keep being the wonderful you that you are. Keep you inspired, it's encouragement to keep you inspired on what you're doing and a reminder that you are limitless and that there's a promise on that limitless, that you are limitless. Some other signs that you might see is repetitive numbers, such as a lot of times people call these angel numbers, like 111, 222, 333. So what it's doing is when you keep seeing those numbers, it's encouraging that the feeling of what you want and desire is already yours. You also see synchronicities um, and feel a sense of excitement about things. So what I mean by sense of synchronicities is coincidence. You may, if you're manifesting love, you may meet somebody with the same initials of the person that you're interested in. If you have somebody, you have a crush. If you are manifesting wealth, you may continually be seeing pennies and quarters and dimes and you know money falling from all over the place on your wealth. Those are signs of coincidences. Or somebody will start talking about the things that you're doing. That is signs of the universe telling you, are your angels, God, which other divinity you wanna look at, saying, you got this. You are it, you are following what you're supposed to be doing. Keep doing it, persist in it, and believe in yourself. On the flip side, you're not seeing rainbows or butterflies or repeating numbers, or maybe you are, but it's not seeming to come through. It's like, um, only part of it. You keep seeing the signs, but you're not seeing the actual manifestation in its fruition of what you are imagining. So let's discuss that real quick. The first one is that you're noticing lack. You're going, why isn't it here yet? I want that. It should already be here. I've been doing this for X amount of time. It should already be here. How much time do I have to put in it? If you're noticing lack, then you are not truly inspired and you are not truly engaged in your manifestation. You are showing doubt. You're not following your intuition and taking inspired action, action when you see those signs. Or you're saying, ah, because I don't see any signs, it's not coming. Or it's coming, but when will it ever get here? Again, that's doubt. You keep changing your desire. And what I mean by that is that you're wishy-washy. Oh, I want the love of my life, but no, maybe I don't. Maybe I'm enjoying being single. Or, oh, I can't wait to have this fabulous job, but I'm still struggling to come through with it. Because I think actually, instead of being a lawyer, I wanna be a bookkeeper. If you're flip-flopping back and forth on your manifestation, and how is the universe gonna fulfill that for you because you can't decide what you want either. The other part of it, and this is the last part, is that you are too attached to the outcome. What that means is that if you are feeling your desire, but you're also feeling the lack of it and feeling that without this, my life will be incomplete. Without having this, my life's not gonna be its fullest. It's not gonna be the richest thing that I want. And then therefore, 
Well, basically you're gonna say, my life sucks without this manifestation. Then you are too attached to that manifestation and it is not gonna come in. Because part of knowing it is that either way, you are living your best life and enjoying it every moment of every day. And as the things come to you, because you're taking that inspired action, you're following your intuition, you're believing in your dreams, you're believing in your desire, and you're believing in your divine self, it has nothing else and no choice but to come in. So to wrap that up, if you see a beautiful rainbow for no other reason than it's a gorgeous rainbow, even if it's a rainbow on a cup, or in my case, it was this huge rainbow in the sky, that's a sign to keep encouraging you. Those signs of repetitive numbers, the initials of things that you're doing, or people talking about it, using my example, if you wanted to be a lawyer, people talking about different things relating to law, you are on the right path. On the flip side, if you're going around saying, without it, my life is gonna be incomplete and I notice the lack of it, you are too attached and your manifestation can't come through. So let go and believe in yourself. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.